warm welcome on this program, the forum, and please, you know all, you are on Canal de English. Today, our guest in the program, the forum, is lawyer Momo Jean de Dieu, who is the chairman of a political party abbreviated PADEC, that's P A D E C. But what does PADEC stands for? It stands for Patriotic Democrats for, Develop for the Development of Cameroon. With him, we are going to talk about a letter that he wrote to the president of this country. Why did Mr. Momo Jean Didier write a letter to President Paul Bia? And we are going to come back again. For those of you who know the history of this country, you may have, re you may recall that there were a time in this country, I think in 2009 or 2008, where nine children died or disappeared in a populous neighborhood in the city of Douala called Bepanda. What has become of the faith of those children? Have they been discovered? It was in 2001, I beg your pardon, just to correct the mistake I did, I said 2008, but it was not in 2008, it was rather in 2001 when nine children in the populous neighborhood of Douala disappeared. Have their corpses been recovered? What has the government done to correct the wrong or the excesses of their soldiers that took part in the disappearance of those nine children? This and many more will be handled as we host lawyer Jean Didier Momo. Don't go away. A very warm welcome on Canal 2 English. And you are on to the program, The Forum. And our guest, as I, I, as I announced at the introduction of this program, was lawyer, or is lawyer Momo Jean Dudier, the chairman of PADEC. Lawyer Momo Jean Dudier, it's a pleasure to have you today as the guest of our program, The Forum. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm very happy that uh, you invite me to uh, Canal de English. Uh, as, uh, <laughs> As a francophone, I want to start speaking English, so this is a good way. Good. Start. This is the second time you can do English in me, and I really appreciate it. Yes, I want to also inform our televiewers in Cameroon and around the world that Canal do English is the only English language television station in Cameroon where when we are speaking English, we speak English. We don't mix, make a kind of mix up where you come and you speak French and another person speaks English. No, here exactly. is purely English. And yes. we want to thank Mr. Jean Chachoué, Mr. Chachoué for having thought of creating such a channel, an autonomous English-speaking channel in the country. But let me ask you this question, Mr. Momo. Uh, the fact that you want to speak only English <coughs> this time around, is it simply because there is a kind of wave in Cameroon where people don't like French? Or what has made you to decide as from now henceforth to speak only English rather than speaking French because you are a Francophone. Yes, it's true. This many reason, many reason bring me to that uh, solution, and I just ashamed that I did not take this position early before. First of all, all my children are English school. I send them to English classes. I pay it from with my money, and when they come back, I speak French to them. This is amazing. This is the first reason. The second reason is really sentimental. My father was of, he was English speaker. I mean, you know, he was speaking Pidgin. Pidgin, yes. He don't speak French. He, his only language was Pidgin. And I spent all my life with him until he died to, to, to transform him into a French speaker. I said, what did you, why don't you speak French like everyone? I did not learn from him how to speak his language, who was a pidgin, mm -hmm. a form of English uh, mm -hmm. typical of Cam Cameroon. Yeah, exactly. You know? And the third reason is, how can we pretend to be a bilingual country when we didn't practice uh, English? People will say, yeah, this is bilingual country. And they don't know how to speak English. They don't make an effort to speak English. When you see Anglophones come to Douala or the Aude, they make efforts to speak French. And our people don't make effort to learn from them. Exactly. My collaborators, my, I work with people who are speaking English, and I spend my life speaking French with them. This is crazy. You don't gain. You don't have nothing. If we want to change, we need to, to change everything. I have been speaking 
uh, friends for 55 years already. So it's just time to start speak English for the what is remaining for um, my lifetime. Exactly. And the yeah. last, last but not the least, uh, <clears throat> I noticed that investor, when it comes to your country, they will appreciate to speak the language that you speak to the, to the of the partner. Yeah. If the partner don't understand the language of the investor, you cannot really communicate. He cannot put his money in your country when you don't speak the language. I just take the example of uh, Rwandese people. In Rwanda, I notice a country who has been uh, faced war and genocide in, in 1994, who was devastated completely. I went to Kigali, and I realized Kigali and Rwanda has changed completely because they, they speak English, and the investor come from America. They invest there. They transform completely the town. Yeah. And you can see what they do. You say, ah, what are you doing in Cameroon? And especially when we are a uh, bilingual country, we have that benefit to be bilingual. This is our, what is of our great richness, you know. Uh, we cannot even be connected a lot with America, with UK, with Canadian. We cannot, we are, we, this is crazy. We, it is that's it. why. All I right. Decide, yeah. oh, thank you very much, uh, lawyer Momo. I think that most of those Cameroonians of French speaking <coughs> expression who sometimes are proud yeah. because you made, you gave a very good example. English speaking Cameroonians, when they come to Douala yeah. or go to Yaoundé, they, they make an effort yeah. to speak French. Exactly. But whereas what I have discovered with Francophones is that when they go to Victoria or Limbe, if their name is, they always want to speak in French because they want to transform Anglophone Cameroon to Francophone exactly, Cameroon. Exactly the way I did with my father. <laughs> exactly. But it's a mistake. They are absolutely yes. wrong. And then the constitution of this country says that the English and French are the official languages of this country. They have not said that French is the official language. Anyway, exactly. that is very good. But now let's get into the nitty gritty of what you are here today. You are a reputed lawyer yeah. in terms of human rights defense, in fact. Exactly. Now, before we can go into the recent things that you are, you, 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 uh, your name has been mentioned a number of times, let's, let's go back memory lane. That's 2001. Let's talk about those nine children who disappeared in Bepanda. For those of you who do not know Douala, who do not know Cameroon, Douala is the economic capital of the Cameroons, and Bepanda is one of the populous neighborhoods. And then in 2009, in 2001, yeah. nine children disappeared. Yeah. Now, have those children been found? Were they found alive? If they have not been found, where are they currently? Or what is the situation? Uh, were they dead? Were they killed? Who killed them? Hey, look, anyway, there are a number of questions worth asking. Now, as you're here, what is the situation of the Bepanda 2001 uh, nine? The nine children of Bepanda 2001. That is one of the biggest crime. the regime of uh, Renouveau committed in this country. During the year 2000 and 2001, <coughs> there was a lot of uh, thief around the, the, the town. There was a lot of criminality. And the, the, the thief used the guns. And it happened that all those guns was uh, military guns, police guns. That it was evidence that they were um, given the guns by the police and the, and the military. We found out in a lot of cases in during the, in, in during the, in court, tri the yeah, trial. In yeah. trials. <clears throat> so the decision of the head of the head of state, Tsipobia, was to create it, what it called uh, uh, operational command. Mm -hmm. The operational command was a, a group of army. Uh, under the commandment of uh, uh, General um, Mpai, mm -hmm. Philip, and the second uh, colonel was uh, Bobo Usmano. And the, the, that this was the command uh, head of the uh, operational command. 
which mission was to eradicate and maybe arrested or killed uh, the thieves. So they started, arrested a lot of people which disappear suddenly. They arrested many, many people. So when people are arrested, Around, they yeah, disappear. They disappear. They go to the uh, commandment operational place in Bonanjo. They put them there in that place. And there was a prison there, mm -hmm. open prison. I went there to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the night, mm -hmm. th they will remove some and go to kill uh, in the brush, abandoned in the, what they call cemetery, the Bois de Seine, mm -hmm. and uh, in the street, everywhere in that period. Mm -hmm. And they kill a lot of people suspected of being thief. Mm -hmm. They don't judge you. So well, when this, you this is what I was concerned. Yes. I'm, as a human rights lawyer, lawyer, I was asking if you arrested people, judge them. So that time, if somebody accuses you to be a criminal, a very great criminal, if weapon, with they weapons, will kill you. you will just be killed. Yeah, yeah. So no. when you are just suspected yes. as an armed robber, yes. you are arrested and executed. Exactly, and mm. executed. Now let me ask you another question, put in. So we talk a lot about the nine children or the who disappeared in Bepanda. Yeah. Do you think that during that uh, special uh, military and police uh, command created to fight against armed robbery in 2001 in Douala, do you think that only nine people were killed or do you, can you please give us a kind of speculative or an estimate of the number of people who died yeah. being summary executed, as you are say, claiming. Yeah, and uh, there was a report in the newspaper, according to making by uh, NG, uh, organization, non-government organization, uh, NGO, uh, NGO uh, organization, and there was a report, especially one of the reports made by uh, uh, Justice Epe, Mm -hmm. by Madeleine Fite, who was the director, who was the chair, chairwoman as of uh, Justice EP yes. and, uh, and Justice and Peace. And the report was saying that around 1,000 people disappear like that. 1,000? 1, 1, uh, people is, is that not, is that not a Cameroon. little bit exact? In the whole Cameroon or in Douala? In the whole Cameroon, that period. That it, period. Was, it was Douala especially in a littoral because there was arrested people in Edea, people in, in uh, Konsamba. No, Yaoundé was not uh, concerned. concerned. Yes. Only literal was concerned by that. And it looks like uh, people is we We witnesses a lot of cops when we were here. You, you, we, you, a lot you, of cops abandoned in the you, street. You saw a lot of cops abandoned in the street. Yes, and I saw it myself. You saw it. Yeah. And, and in, on TV. They and saw on TV. It. And, yeah. and you think that those cops were people or suspected armed robbers. Of course, of course. Everyone knows that. Killed, it's not a secret. Killed by the, the, the gendarmerie and the military. Exactly. The, the newspaper, including uh, Le Messager, including La Nouvelle Expression, was reported daily, daily, daily by daily. Daily, day, 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 day by day, day the number day, of people assassinated. The, yes. And you, you just summarize, I, I mean, I, I, um, out of the nine of the, the panda, there was a lot of people like Philo, like uh, this, uh, Sake, I, I mean, uh, all those names, all those people that found out. Uh, and uh, some, we know who killed who. You know who killed Sometime. who. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you know who, you killed. Know who killed who. And nothing which, happens. Which, which uh, yes, and nothing happened. Which uh, commissaire, mm -hmm. which police uh, commissioner. commissioner killed who. All right. We know it. And the parents know. The and parents are alive. Some die. Some already died. Some of the parents, uh, the parents who died. lost their children yeah, died. died. But now let me ask you a question. I know you are a human right, you are a human right lawyer. Yes. It is your role yeah. to defend those who are deemed to be weak. Exactly. Now and don't, this is not particularly easy. It is not they, easy, they I find understand. You, you become the public enemy. You become the public <laughs> enemy. Now, before I ask that question, are you insinuating that you are the public enemy of this regime? Yes, of course. I became the public enemy that time, from that time up to, to now. Up to now. Even I was not even a politician. I just get through the politics to continue that fight. To continue that because fight. Because I can see nothing can change. 
when you just stay in your position of human rights. So you decided but to jump from being a human rights lawyer yeah. and into full-fledged politician. Yes, maybe it will be the way, but I'm, I'm not sure it was a good choice. You are not but, sure it was a good choice. Now, yeah. but let me ask you another question. What do you make of people who think that the government took a very good decision to fight criminality in this country, especially in 2001, because Douala and most parts of the country was already becoming chaotic, ungovernable. Yes. What do you think of those who think that the government did well to yes. act the way they did? And especially that time, a lot of people was against me. How, how can you take the position of the thief people, the thief men? Uh, of the armed robbers, the, the criminals. The armed robbers and criminals. Yes. I say, who, who tell you that he is armed robbers? It is only be the, 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 the justice who have to determine this is an armed robber. Who, do you have any evidence that this guy you catch? What happened is exactly this. They was doing that uh, during all the year 2000. Killing people and uh, abandon the cops on the street. On the street. And, and the, very early in 2001, they arrested the people of Bepanda. Yes. The nine children, children uh, including one, one man who was getting married. That they, they, they removed him from his room. He was sleeping with his wife. Are you trying to say somebody was sleeping in his room with his wife? Yes. They came and took him off exactly, the room? Exactly, exactly. This is the truth. But what if he was a criminal? Wasn't he a criminal? No, they say to the people around that they just investigate because uh, somebody claimed of the, the stolen of his... Uh, gas cylinder. Gas stealing, yeah. Somebody was claiming like that. So they arrested those young, young people around the, the place where the, the lady was claiming the story of his gas stealer. And the, they just say it was an investigation. And it is when those people don't come back two days later that the population, who knows them, start to claim, start to say those people, we know them very well. They are not thieves. So and this is the way that we discover that the, the, during the year 2000, they were saying they, they killed the, the thief thieves people, mm -hmm. and they, they were killing the innocent, innocent people. Uh, yeah. But you said somewhere, which means that the military or the gendarmerie or the police, they overreacted. There was a kind of overreaction. Exactly. On the other hand, don't you think that it is simply because criminality was getting out of hand, so they decided to act the way they were acting. So, yes, but I, I think about it, about it and say, is that a good way to fight criminality? During the time of 1972, there was a lot of criminality. The President Aijo took a ordinance, a, 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 I mean, a law, a law yes. saying that we arrested you, we judge you if you are convinced of Convicted. Um, mm -hmm. convicted of armed robbers, mm -hmm. we kill you. We kill you, and all right. This was a decision are you, made by Aijo, and I, this I, was I, the I, law. Are you, are you somewhere trying to say Aijo was procedural? He respected legal yeah, procedure. Exactly. And Paul Bia is not respected. It, it, yeah, he didn't respect. He just, he just invited the General Pai to his uh, office, give him the power, to go to Douala and kill and people. Kill the people. In other words, if if I lie, ask the prosecutor who was in Douala. Who, what was his name then? Who, uh, was who was the prosecutor? Has the prosecutor and the prosecutor general? And who was the pro prosecutor general? The prosecutor was uh, the actual minister of the public function. Uh, he was a prosecutor. Uh, public service. Public service. Yes. The minister of public, public service. service. Yes, I don't and know. And the prosecutor, name. the general prosecutor was Jibun Mama. Jibun Mama. Yeah, who mm. was a minister of state of uh, they know. They know. I'm sure they know because every Monday we have what we call the the meeting of the security in town. Now let me ask you a question rapidly And there was forty one uh, officer uh, amongst those those uh, command, uh, operational command, command, who knows the truth? Forty-one officers in that special command who yeah. know the truth. That, uh, in your word, yeah. you are saying that Paul Bia decided to send them to come to Douala to kill people. Yeah, to kill okay. suspect of uh, so, rob, uh, robbers. Because I don't understand that. Who can give the power to General Pai and, and the Colonel Bobo? Osman Bobo. Yeah, Osman Nubobo. Bobo. 
But to, now, to, where is to kill people? Where is where is <laughs> without where, any trial? Where is General Philip <coughs> and Colonel Usmanu Bobo? Where Not are they? General, they have been promoted. They have been promoted. Yeah. Are you, in other words, saying that they have been promoted for having committed a crime? I'm not sure that, but I just know that they have been promoted. Yeah, and no, nothing happened to nothing them. Happened so to them. I can easily, I can easily take that decision. Took that decision. That uh, my own opinion. Your opinion they is have that been promoted for the good job or the good job they did. <laughs> yeah. Now the, the, another play before we leave this part of the uh, um, opera. Those children. So nine children have disappeared. Disappear. And nine amongst others because I witness a lot of. People disappearances kill. Yes. and kill and yes. assassinations. Yes, I have the photo of around 100 people. You can see the people. You have the photographs of the yeah, 100 the people yeah, who have photo. disappeared. Yeah, you can ask the... Uh, all right. Now, let me ask you one question before we leave. You said mm -hmm. that when those people, armed robbers, were arrested, mm -hmm. they discovered that they had weapons given to them by the police and the army, true this or false? This is what happened during the trial in the military tribunal. During the tribunal, and one of the accused says that the weapon were given, some, some weapon were given by the military to committed crime. To commit crime. Yeah, to commit crime. Yes. And uh, at that moment, especially, I mean, during the... And what has, what, now, what happened when it was <coughs> traced that? The weapons that the armed robbers were using came from either the police. Well, we know in Congo it happens like that. The yeah. police gives armed robbers to attack people, have been victims of that. Yeah. But now, let's say in Cameroon, yeah. when it was discovered, was any of the soldiers, the suspect, arrested? Uh, yes, I was in. I was a lawyer in the case in the court of appeal when one one of the policemen who was involved, he came free. He came free. And the, out, the robbers were in prison. I demonstrate that he is the one who gives the weapon to them. And the judge of the court of appeal was forced to come to, to arrest him. To arrest him and to sentence him immediately. And he was sentenced. Did he stay in jail or he has been freed he, he, after? Uh, no, I can see that he has been to, to, to prison because even the judge said, what do you want me to do? <laughs> okay, all right. There is I different. Very well okay, that case. <laughs> because in Congo, in Congo, policemen like General Jean Francois Ndenge, who gives weapons to criminals to act, they don't do anything to them. Yeah, they go scared free. That's yeah. very good. Now, but I many want... of them, yes, are free. Are free. Yeah, that one is because I catch you. Oh, because you I were there. All right. Publicly, good. In court. In court. Yeah. And that's you the know, reason. I was I was on my um um. Uh, 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 investigation the case in court. Uh, all right. And uh, I cross examined him. Yes. I said this. He has he was forced to, to answer my question. Exactly. And when he answered it was clear that he was the one who gave the report. All right. So everyone now mm. everyone knew about it, so he was arrested. One among many yeah. Who were, who are free? Who yeah. went scot free? But one was arrested due to your temerity. Mm. Now let's see something again again. We know that the nine children, we don't know about them. They have disappeared. Their yeah. parents are there and nothing's yeah. happening, unfortunately, for Cameroon. But now they you disappear, they have been killed. They have been killed. They have been killed. We have, we have a lot of people who wanted to, to say something, but they closed their mouth. They are afraid. Of the fear, they are afraid. You know? uh -huh. Because that time, we have evidence of people who were there who says that every night, you know, the, the, the general empire, and uh, uh, Colonel Bobo and uh, Philip Abazenge Zenge, who was one of them, one of the military, they will open your case. They will f check if there was a suspicious that you have weapon the weapon or the accusation. They will come and remove you through your cells during the night at midnight. They will put you into the car. They will put around 50 people in the, into, inside the car, and they will go through away and they will kill them in the bush. In the bush? Yeah. Do you know the place where they were killing them? Yeah, some place, because they were changing the place they were in Can the, you give us one of the places? One place is the Carrier de Lombajek. Carrier de Lombajek. L L Lombajek. And another place where here up to Pekka Bisset. All right. After the sister place. Okay. And, uh, and the parents, the parents knows where the children has been some parents knows where the children have been buried. Have been buried. And, yeah, they, they okay. know the place. All right, let's yeah. leave that story they like that. Just, uh, yes. see, there was a movie. A movie, yeah. A movie on it. Really? A documentary movie made by Oswald Lowat, who come and investigate. 
and discover a lot of parents and give them the parents and they say how the children has been arrested, how the children have been killed, where the children has been buried. Buried. You, see, you will see Une Affaire de Negre of Oswald Lewat. It's a movie making by Oswald Lewat. In 2005. In 2005. Like cool. Yeah. Great. Now, another you, thing... You find it in, uh, uh, in television, French television. French television. But there's another, another thing that people talked about you a lot. When you wrote a letter to Paul Beer, yeah. why the hell did you decide to write a letter directly to President Beer? This is a different subject. Yes, it's this different is, completely. This yes. is the president of the PADEC, mm -hmm. the president of opposition party, who complained uh, to the president of the Republic. And you are the president of that party. I am the president of that the party. The Patriotic Democra Democratic yeah. for the Democracy for the De Development of Cameroon. Yeah. Patriotic Democrat yeah. for the, the Development of Cameroon. Yes. PADEC. I'm the president of the PADEC. And, I and you wrote to Paul Bia. Yeah. Why? I noticed that according to the uh, past presidential election, I was number eight so far. So my party is not so much big. It's not a big party. Yeah, it's not a very big party like number two, like number three, like number four. I'm not the number two. I'm not number three. I'm you not are number, number eight. I'm number eight. And I have only two municipal councils. My party has only two municipal councils. So what happened is I noticed that my party is the victim of the aggressive aggression of the Paul Bia administration, that I don't really understand. Because I say, my party doesn't, you cannot be afraid. Of a party that's of, number of, eight. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Lemoy, look, what we'll do is that <coughs> I would like us, we have a problem with the, I think now we have a problem of time, but we are going to, let me ask one last question before we can round off. Okay. Because we talk a lot about Bepanda and other Why do you think that a party which is number eight, yeah. Which is, I don't know how, you don't. You are not an MP, are you yeah, a member of parliament? No, 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 I'm, why, just, I'm just a municipal council. Yeah, but why do you think that a party, a party that is eight in the rankings of last presidential election yeah. should be a subject of attack by the government? I'm surprised, and this is the reason why I sent the letter to Mr. President, to say why your administration remove my collaborators, make them resign. You force them to resign. You force four of my approach collaborators close collaborators to resign. Why? Okay. You, Why? You, you, you want to kill them. You want to disturb them in the work. You send another one in Delele in Baturi. You take another one, you, you want to close his office. We, we, this one who is a chief of his village, you remove him from his chief kingdom. Oh. Why? Why you fight my people? All right. We are not dangerous for you. Okay. That's very good, uh, lawyer Momo Jean de Dieu, who is the chairman but, of... But Petro I think that the truth is he, know he that knows we are real opposition. He knows because that. you have upper appearance opposition and you have truth opposition. And you are the we truth, are truth opposi opposition, even we don't have many people who trust us who, do, who know the truth. Oh, all because right, because the Thank people has been uh, lied. Thank you, lie to the people, people, the lie to the people, and you claim to be the truth opposition. Anyway, we will have more time to invite you here to come and develop why you think you are the best and the real opposition in this country. Well, that was lawyer Jean de Dieu Momo, who is a chairman of PADEC, that is Patriotic Democrat for the Development of Cameroon. But please don't go away. Very soon, here on Canal de English, we'll be having uh, Stone Quarters, that is a pidgin language special news. And please. We are going to be with you again tomorrow, God willing.